Hi viewers, I'm Asma and you're watching my YouTube channel Virtuoso Palette. First off, I would like to say that I'm very grateful to you, to all of you for commenting and liking and I would also mention disliking here because your dislikings also makes me to look at my work as a critic. So that is also very important. So I hope you enjoyed the first series of acrylic painting ideas on Galaxy. So today I'm about to begin a new series on acrylic painting ideas based on sunsets on mini can. So let's go to look, watch and observe. Oops, sorry, I forgot to ask for something very important. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and to share it with your family and friends. Hello, I'm here on Virtuoso Palette with the third acrylic painting idea based on sunsets on mini canvas. Now using a palette knife, I'm applying gray on my canvas. That is a mixture of black and white with a few drops of ultramarine blue. Painting sunsets is a very relaxing activity and also a good way to exercise your skills. It doesn't require too many materials. Just either a large brush or a knife, a surface for painting on and a few basic colors. Have the colors you want to use at hand, depending on the sunset you've got in mind. Mostly you'll need a yellow, orange, blue, purple, white, and in darks, you'll be needing burnt umber, which if you remember, I used generously in my last painting. And of course, Payne's Grey, which is I'm using right now. I told you that it's a blend of black, white, and just a tiny little bit of ultramarine blue. Now I'm almost done with the base here and let it dry for a few minutes there you go and now let's make the canvas sunsetty sunny there you go well i used the knife strokes I need to fix the area around the sun. Let's use a brush here to give the sun its roundness. Actually, I told you that acrylics are used in layers and I've disturbed one of the layer I applied, but it can be fixed. The rest of it will be fixed with the colors in the sun. I'm applying dark orange that is a mixture of more vermilion red and less cadmium yellow. And there you go. Fix the sun properly. It's going to take a little more time because I had disturbed one of the layer I applied. Because uh, usually when you paint a very realistic grey sky, it has many tones and shades. But this one is an idea. So don't wonder that why does it look so flat? It's it's an you know painting idea of mine. 
And usually it has the real sunsets in gray has, you know, plenty of shades in it. There you go. I'm going to fix the sun gradually and in layers blending the colors properly. There you go. I'm going to apply some orange also in the center of the sun. Some more orange and I'm going to blend it with the layer. There it is. A little bit of orange. And let's blend it well with the first layer. And just a tiny little stroke of ochre mixed with orange, yellow ochre. Here comes the actual hero of the idea. Who do you think he is? Let's fix the stencil properly and you'll find out soon. That is someone stepping on the sun. Okay, now I'm using a darker tone of gray here, a blend of more blue with black and a little white in it. Let's fix the stencil. There you go. Stroke by stroke. Fill the paint and the stencil. Now I'm thinking of adding a few, just a few strokes of black. And I intend to blend it with the previous layer. Let's take some black. Hmm, there you go. And blend it well with the layer of blue. I hope you're getting wh whose figure is it? Take off the stencil. What kind of posture do you see? And well, I am bringing a climbing rope from the top using my knife. And let's fix it with a thin brush. Yes! It's a mountaineer climbing up the sun. One foot on the sun. Let's give a little more detail to the figure. Now I'll put something on the left side on the sun. Well, whatever comes in the foreground, it will always be in a dark tone, but not totally black and flat. So I have the mixture of black and white with ultramarine blue with less amount of white here. I'm painting a few branches with leaves 
that are coming in front of the sun. There you go. There you go. So viewers, this is the third acrylic painting idea based on sunsets. And I hope to see you soon to dive in another sunset. Bye! Hope you enjoyed this sunset. Take care and keep watching for more sunsets on Virtuoso Palette. So bye for now and keep watching. See you in the next video.